Our building is safer because it's above floor level, so if there's a flood, it's safer because it won't basically dis get destroyed. And also there's a material that checks in pollution, so there is cleaner around the house. And there's also a fingerprint scanner, so when you put your fingerprint in it, it'll open the door automatically. So it's way harder for somebody to break into the house because you need the fingerprint. Off you go. Our building is smarter because it has a fingerprint system, which means you have to scan a fingerprint to go into a house. It has solar panels which move with the sun to get energy for the house. And it has a robot which helps you around the house. Our building is kinder because it has lights which turn on when you walk into a room and it has pollution sucking material on the pillars so the area is clearer and it has a water gutter which um, collects the water and puts it into the baths of the house and sinks. When the sun moves around, the garden moves with it, um, and solar panels move with the sun to get maximum energy for the house. When we were thinking about the design, at first we were looking at pictures on the internet, then we were drawing sketches of what, we, what, of what it could be, and then we looked at the materials we had. Once we had our sketches and our materials, we combined the two things to make our house of the future. During this project, the part I enjoyed most was coming up with the design. I enjoyed working with Athena. I enjoyed coming up with the technology ideas. And I enjoyed playing with all the messy materials. <laughs>